Okay. All right, beautiful. Thank you for joining me for a 60 minute yoga class. My name is Holly. I use she, her pronouns. Um, we're going to start with a few rounds of sun salutes to warm up our body, and then we will hop into 26 and two yoga, 26 postures and two breathing exercises. If at any point during class, something does not feel right for your body. Remember that you can modify a posture. You can do something else, or you can skip it entirely. You are your greatest teacher. Uh, yoga can be challenging at times and that's okay, but we're never going to a point of pain point where we could cause harm to ourselves or where we know we won't feel good the next day, right? For the sun salutes, you'll come towards the top of your mat with your feet close together, arms down by your side. I'm going to stand back a little bit and show you in for effort. Bring your hands together at heart center, and we'll begin with three rounds of Surya Namaskar A Sun Salute, saluting the god of sun, Surya. As you inhale, lift your arms up overhead, look up as if you're saluting or greeting the sun. Exhale through your nose, bend your knees, fold forward, hands to floor, relax your head. Inhale to your nose, look forward and lengthen into a halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, put your hands on the floor and step back into a plank or tabletop position. Option to go from here directly into a down dog or child's pose or take a chaturanga. Lean forward, shoulders over wrists, hug your elbows in, pull yourself down to the floor. Inhale, push up into a back bend. You can do cobra with elbows bent and thighs on the floor or up dog with arms straight and thighs off the floor. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up for down dog. Can bend one knee, straighten the other, pedal out your legs and then press your heels to the floor, hips to the ceiling, drop your head, look for your thighs behind you. If down dog is not speaking to you, come down onto your knees and take a child's pose instead. Sink your hips down as you stretch your arms forward. On your next inhale, hands to the floor, look forward, step forward, lengthen into your halfway lift. Exhale as you fold, let your head hang heavy. Inhale, arms with your ears, hands together, root to rise, lift up, look up. Exhale, hands down. Two more. Inhale, lift your arms, look up. Exhale, bend your knees, fold, going down with a flat back. Inhale, look forward, lengthen, legs straight, back flat. Exhale, hands to floor, step back into your plank or tabletop. Keep exhaling, lower down. Inhale, push up into your back bend. Keep your shoulders out of your ears. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up for down dog, or sink your hips down for child's pose. Either way, make your arms long, spread your fingers wide, root down through all 28 knuckles in the space between your index finger and thumb, so that especially if you're in down dog, you're not putting all of your body weight on your wrists. Inhale, look forward, step forward, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold, connect to your breath. Inhale, arms with your ears lift up with a flat back, look up. Exhale, hands down. Last one, inhale, lift. Exhale, fold, moving meditation. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands to floor, step back, keep exhaling, lower down. Inhale, your up dog or cobra. Exhale, your down dog or child's pose. If you're doing child's pose, sink your hips down towards your heels. If you're doing down dog, press your heels down to the floor. If your heels aren't touching the floor, take a little bit of a wider step between your feet so that your heels can come down. And if you have tight hamstrings, you can micro bend your knees to take weight away from the backs of the legs. Otherwise, press your thighs back, heels down, hips up, push the floor away from you. Inhale, look forward, step forward, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, lift up, salute the sun. Exhale, hands down. Beautiful. That's our little warm up. We will now hop into 26 and 2 yoga. Come to the middle of your mat space for two sets of pranayama standing deep breathing. Feet together, interlock your 10 fingers, cross your thumbs, glue your knuckles underneath your chin. Rock your weight into your heels. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. You made it to class. Concentrate, meditate, and begin. Inhale, chin down and arms up. Breathe in through your nose. Lift your elbows up. Suck your stomach in, fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up, exhale through your mouth. Slowly push your head back, reach your arms forward. Keep exhaling, elbows touch. Inhale, elbows out and arms up. Slowly bring your chin down, look straight ahead. Lift your elbows all the way up, breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale, head up, slowly push your head back. Look way, way, way back for the wall behind you. Elbows touch, pointing to the wall in front of you. Inhale, head down, breathe in through your nose, down through your throat to the very bottom of your lungs. Exhale, head up as you exhale. Open your mouth wide like you're fogging up a mirror on the ceiling. 
arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down. Every new inhale, you want to take in more air than the last breath to expand your lung capacity. Exhale, head up. The more you exhale here, the more fresh oxygen you can take in on the next breath. Push the air out. Inhale, head down. As we become more aware of our breath, we become more aware of the body. Lower body stays still like a statue, just the neck and arms move. Exhale, head up. So just the head drops back. No backward bending. Lock your legs, engage your abdominal wall, reach your arms forward, elbow bones touch. Inhale, head down, last breath in the first set, deepest breath so far, spine a little longer, elbows a little higher, lungs a little fuller, suck your stomach in, breathe deep, full lungs, exhale, head up, take your time, eyes open, hips forward, legs locked, stomach in, keep exhaling, push, squeeze, elbows touch, change, arms down, you can roll out your shoulders and head. Second set, feet together, interlock your fingers, switch the grip, other thumb pinky finger on top, bring your knuckles under your chin like glue, squeeze your thighs and glutes, lock your legs, engage your abdominal wall, grow taller out of the base of your spine, and begin, inhale, chin down and arms up, breathe in through your nose, lift your elbows up, suck your stomach in, fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up, exhale through your mouth, slowly relax your head back, stretch your arms forward, keep exhaling, elbows touch. Inhale, head down for one, two, three, four, five, six, full lungs. Exhale, head up for six, five, four, three, two, elbows touch, one. Inhale, head down, use the full six seconds to inhale, take in more and more and more air. Exhale, head up. Use the full six seconds to exhale. Synchronize your breath with your body movements. Elbows touch when your lungs are empty. Inhale, I'll do a few with you. Breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale. Elbows touch, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, strongest one so far. Exhale. Inhale, head down, last breath. Second set, deepest breath of your life. When your lungs are totally full, surprise yourself. Take in one more sip of air. Exhale, head up. Take your time, let everything go through the exhale breath. Any worries, any cares, let them go. Be here now, elbows touch, change, arms down. We'll continue. Ardha Chandrasana with Padasasana, half moon with hands to feet pose, feet together. Inhale, arms up, palms together, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, stretch up, and bend right and left, right and left. See if you can keep your palms together as you stretch up and over, right and left, moving the body. And when you can't stretch anymore, come to stop in the middle. Bring the weight into your heels, press your hips a little forward, squeeze your palms together, head and arms back, touch your biceps to your ears. No room for light and air between the biceps, arms and ears. Engage your abdominal wall. Inhale, stretch up out of your waist, try to touch the ceiling. Exhale, breathing, slowly bend your body to the right. Without bending your elbows, without bending your knees, continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling in the left side of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingers to toes. Just remember it's the first day, uh, first posture of the day, and there's no rush, know where you need to be, nothing you have to prove to yourself, to me, to anyone else. All you have to do is breathe through your nose for an hour. This is a gift that you have given yourself. Use your breath to get a little deeper. Inhale, lengthen the arms. Exhale, come down, push, 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 change, stop in the middle, reset, hips forward, arms back, core tight, stretch up, and slowly bend to the left. Keep the grip, squeeze your palms together up to the wrists. Use your left hand to pull your right hand to the top left corner of the room, press your heels into the floor, and push your hips further to the right. Contract your quadricep muscles, gluteal muscles, press your hips forward, pull your abdomen in, slide your breastbone up, keep your chin away from your chest. Option to stay here or get a little deeper at the end, come down, push, push, push. 
change. Inhale to come up. First back bend of the sequence. Take a deep breath, full lungs. Keep your eyes open. Relax your head back as far as it goes. You can give your head a gentle shake. Look for the floor behind you. Squeeze your butt, lift your chest, and immediately bring your arms back with your ears. Try to touch the wall behind you. So whole spine back bending from coccyx to the neck, lower back, middle back, upper back. Bend your total spine backward bending. Keep the weight in your heels. Lock your legs. Inhale, breathing. Push stomach, thighs, hips, everything forward. Keep your eyes open, palms together. Bring your arms back. Look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back. Change. Inhale to come up. Big stretch up. Lengthen. Exhale. Fold. Stomach in as you go down. Hands to floor. Relax your head. Go for a walk. Move your hips. Shake your head. This is a U-turn from back bending to forward folding. At the beginning of class, your spine might not be quite warmed up yet. Move your hips to get your lower back nice, relaxed, comfortable, easy, flexible. Padastasana. Hands to feet pose. Bend your knees halfway. You can grab the backs of your calves, your Achilles, or your heels from underneath. Step on all ten fingers. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes, and lift your hips up. Stretch your upper body down from the lower spine of the floor, pulling as the object of stretching. Touch stomach to thighs, chest to knees. Let your head hang heavy. One day face touches the shins below the knees. Bend your elbows back a little bit more. Roll forward a little bit more. Find your edge. Lift your hips up. Push your knees back. Stretch your spine down. Change. Look forward. Chin away from your chest. Arms with your ears. Hands together as you lift up. Arms down. And you stand a little taller. Beautiful. Second set. Feet together, arms up, palms together. Switch the grip. Interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs. Nice tight grip. Please don't lose the grip. Hips forward, arms back, stomach in. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, slowly drop to the right. Press your hips to the left. Breathe. Keep the weight in your heels. Hips a little forward. Head and arms back. Touch your biceps to your ears. Imagine you could uh, lean against a wall behind you the whole time. If you need to, move your left hip a little forward to get your two hips in line. And then bring your right shoulder forward, two shoulders in line. Keep the arms with the ears, palms together. Come down, push, push, push change stop in the middle reset lift the chin drop the shoulders relax the jaw inhale stretch up exhale slowly bend to the left press your hips to the right breathe slow and smooth in and out through the nose think about breathing into the right side body breathing into the right uh, lung keep the weight in your heels hips a little forward head and arms back touch your biceps to your ears push your right hip a little forward to get your two hips in line now bring your left shoulder forward, open your chest like a flower petal blooming at the beginning of March. Come down, push and push and push. Change, inhale to come up, second back bend. Take a deep breath, full lungs. Keep your eyes open, relax your head back. Squeeze your butt, lift your chest and immediately bring your arms back with your ears. If you can see your hands, notice if they're coming apart, wrist straight, palms together, weight in the heels, lock your legs, push stomach, thighs, hips forward, keep your chest lifted and bring your arms back a little bit more. Arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back. Change, come on up, stretch, decompress, exhale, fold, going in and out with a flat back. Hands to floor, relax your head, go for another walk, move your hips, shake your head, and second set, bend your knees, grab the backs of your legs or your heels from underneath. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes, and lift your hips up. Wrap your elbows back behind you, try to touch elbows together behind you. Keep the stomach in, eyes open, lift the shoulders up to lengthen the neck spine. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes, lift your hips up, push your knees back, try to lock your knees. Change, come on up, chin away from the chest, knees can bend as you lift with a flat back. Good, arms down, let that one go. Awkward Ukatasana, step your right foot to the right about six inches, hip width distance, inside to your feet perfectly parallel like 11s. Arms up parallel to the floor, tricep muscles tight. Reach your arms forward, pull your abdomen in, bend your knees, sit back and down into a chair. Feet flat, spine straight, weight in your heels. Sit down, halfway only, hips into a chair, suck your stomach in and lean your upper body back, lift your chin up, chest up, lean back, fall back, way back. Change, come on up, keep your arms there. Press your hips forward, lift your heels. Come up maximum on your tippy tippy toes like a ballerina. Stretch up at the top, bend your knees, sit down, lean back. Rather than leaning forward, lean back, tuck your tailbone under, move the hips forward, heels a little higher, knees a little higher, sit down into a chair, but don't sit below a chair. Change, last part, come on up, still breathing. Squeeze your knees and inner thighs together. Let your heels come a little off the floor and slowly sit down. Take your time, listen to your body. Stop whenever you want. You can also put your hands on the floor to sit all the way down. 
Squeeze your knees together and forward, thighs parallel to the floor, arms parallel to the thighs, spine perfectly straight from the side. Looks like you're holding a box. Change, slowly come up, press the floor away from you. Good, heels down, right foot back, arms down, take a breath. Go again, step your right foot to the right, hip width distance, insides of your feet parallel, arms up parallel to the floor, all five fingers together. Reach your arms forward, pull your abdomen in, bend your knees, sit back and down. You can stick your butt out and fold forward to get your thighs parallel to the floor. Engage your core and lift the upper body off of the lower body. Shoulder soft, neck long, chest proud. Lift your chin up, chest up, change. Come on up, keep your arms there. Press your hips forward, spread your toes wide, lift your heels, concentrate, meditate, levitate, sit down and lean back. Really use your core, your obliques, to keep the spine nice and long, triceps tight, shoulders out of the ears, heels a little higher, knees a little higher, sit down into a chair, but don't sit below a chair. Change, last part, come on up, still breathing, squeeze knees, thighs together, let your heels come a little off the floor, and slowly sit down. The slower you do, the better you do, like an elevator ride, as you get to the ground floor, you slow down even more. Lift the chest, drop the shoulders, keep your back nice and long from the side. And slowly come up, squeeze your knees together as you lift. Good, heels down, right foot back, arms and shoulders down. Eagle pose, Garudasana, right side first. Inhale, arms overhead, big stretch up. Exhale, swing right arm under left arm, palms together, thumbs towards your nose. You can also interlace fingers, grab a thumb, or grab your shoulders, pull your elbows down. Bend your knees, sit back and down. Stay down there, lean back, and bring right leg over left leg. Right leg over left leg, cross your legs, twist like ropes. Eventually wrap your right foot behind your left calf muscle, never forcing the body. If your foot is coming out, sit down more. If you're losing your balance, arch your upper body back, bring your knees to the right, upper body to the left, twist like ropes, sit back and down, upper body back at the end. Good, change feet together, arms up, let's do the left side. Swing left arm, under right arm, palms together, thumbs towards your nose, pinkies away from your face, remember there's other variations as well. Pull your elbows down, bend your knees, sit back and down, keep your hips low, lift your chest, and bring left leg over right leg. Cross twist, squeeze and breathe. In and out through your nose. Remember all you have to do is breathe through the nose. On this side, bring your knees a little to the left and upper body to the right. You want your elbows directly over your knees. Notice if the weight is in the ball of your foot or your toes, bring the weight back to your heel. And if you'd like to get deeper into the posture, you can stick your butt out and fold forward just like the first part of awkward pose, chair pose, and then lean your upper body back at the end. Good, change, feet together, arms up, going into second set, swing right arm, under left arm, bicep under tricep, pull the elbows down, one day fingers below the nose, bend your knees, sit back and down, lift your chest and bring right leg over left leg, hamstring over quadricep. If your foot is wrapping, try to eliminate the gap between right ankle and left calf muscle. If your hands are in prayer, try to get the wrist straight, palms flat, and maybe fingers a little bit more in line. Push your top leg into your bottom leg. Move your left hip a little forward, right shoulder a little forward, sit down, lean back, change. Feet together, arms up, last one, here we go. Left arm, under right arm, pull your elbows down, stomach in, bend your knees, sit down, lean back, and bring left leg over right leg. Still breathing in and out through the nose. If your foot is coming out, sit down more. If you're losing your balance, arch your upper body back. Bring your knees to the left, upper body to the right, twist like ropes, sit down, upper body back at the end. Change, feet together, arms up, float your arms down, party time, you can grab a sip of water if you want. Cheers, friends. Okay, let us continue, standing head to knee, Dande Amana, Jani Shirasana, shift your weight to your left leg, lock your left leg, Lift your right leg up, toes back, option to stay here, or round down and pick up your right foot. All 10 fingers interlocked, webbing to webbing grip. From start to finish, standing legs should be solid. Concrete, one piece, lamp post, unbroken. 
you have no knee, option to stay here or inhale, breathing slowly, gently, lift your right leg up, stretch it forward until your right leg is exactly parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower, standing leg lock, take a breath, kick your heel forward, flex your toes back, you're training your Achilles to stretch. If both legs lock, lock your arms, puff up your chest, and then bend elbows down. Touch elbows to calf muscles one day, elbows go below the calf muscles, lock your knee, lock your knee, lock your knee change, slowly reverse out. Shift your weight to your right leg, evenly distribute your body weight on your right foot. Lift your left leg up, engage your core, flex your toes back. You can stay here or round down one or two inches or eventually pick up your left foot. You're also welcome to start with your knee higher into your chest so that you don't have to round down so much. You can stay right here in the setup. If you have a grip on your foot and your standing leg is locked, inhale, lift your left leg up. Notice if your heel turns in and your knee turns out, that's really normal, that's hip tightness. I have that as well. You're gonna try to bring your left heel a little to the left so that your heel and hip are in line. From here, press your heel forward, flex your toes back. If both legs lock from the side legs, make an L like Linda, lift your chest, lengthen the spine, and then bend elbows down. Roll the shoulders back and down, hug the elbows in, bring the chest down. One day elbows go below the calf muscles, inhale, exhale, and change. Arms straight, bend the left leg, left foot down. You can put your hands on your back, and do a little back bend, boom, or knee bend, second set. Shift your weight to your left leg, squeeze left thigh tight, lift your right leg up, toes back, round down, pick up your foot. If you always fall out, go a little slower. Concentrate, meditate. Don't forget to have fun. Inhale, lift your right leg up. If both legs lock, bend elbows down. If elbows go below calf muscles, slowly tuck chin to chest. Put your forehead on your knee. Hold and breathe. Lock your knee. Lock your knee. Lock your knee. Whenever you're ready, slowly reverse out. Take your time. Nice, good for you. Shift your weight to your right leg, squeeze right thigh tight, lift your left leg up, toes back, round down, pick up your foot. Can you keep your big toe on the floor the whole time? Not grabbing the floor of the toes, just keep the big toe on the floor. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Find when my foot comes off the floor, that's when I know to slow down a little bit. If both legs lock, bend elbows down. Big toe is on the floor, slowly tuck your chin to your chest. Put your forehead on your knee. Hold and breathe. Keep the big toe down as you bring your head up, arms straight, bend the left leg, left foot down. Good for you. Okay, that was a forward curl. Next, we do a back bend, heart opener, standing bow pulling pose, Dandayamana, Dhanurasana. Feet together, bring your right hand up, elbow touches the body, palm faces the ceiling. Bring your hand out to the right. Give yourself a high five for practicing yoga today. Yes, reach back without turning or twisting your wrist. Pick up the inside of your right foot at the ankle, thumb with your index finger, bring your left arm up and back with your ear, knees together to start. Option to stay here. And when you're ready, lock your left leg, point your right toes, lift your chin and stretch, chest, stretch up, and slowly charge your body forward. Slowly, simultaneously, kick your right leg back and up. Take your time. At first, find a place where you can breathe balance and back bend. As you're ready, start to come down parallel to the floor so the foot comes directly over the top of your head. Kick back and up so the right shoulder disappears behind the left shoulder, two shoulders in line. Bring the body down more, leg up more, charge your body forward, kick up, kick back, kick up one more time. Change, slowly kick yourself up. Good, feet together, arms down. Bring your left hand up, out to the left. Reach back without turning or twisting your shoulder. Pick up the inside of your left foot at the ankle, thumb with your index finger, right arm up and back with your ear, knees together, hips in line. Lift your right kneecap, point your left toes, lift your chin and shoulder, stretch up. Option to stay here or slowly kick into your hand. Simultaneously, charge your body forward. Take your time. Again, focus on your breath. Once you can breathe, start to come down. Foot coming over the top of your head. Kick back so the left shoulder relaxes back. 
You're kicking in two directions. You're kicking back and you're kicking up. Point your toes so you can kick harder. Kick from the glute, kick from the hamstring, kick from the calf. Continuously keep kicking without stopping, without intermission. Bring the body down more, leg up more. Slide your right shoulder forward. Kick and kick and kick. Change, slowly press yourself up with control. Feet together, arms down, inhale through the nose. Slowly exhale through the nose. So even with an elevated heart rate, you're still control, in control of your breath. Second set, bring your right hand up, out to the right. Reach back, pick up the inside of your right foot. Left arm up, knees together. Lift your left kneecap, point your right toes, lift your chin, stretch up, and slowly kick stretch, breathe, kick into your hand, stretch forward, breathe through your nose. Keep your left arm parallel to the floor, all five fingers together, palm flat, wrist straight, tricep tight, left shoulder forward, right shoulder back, come down, body down more, leg up more, start to kick up towards the ceiling, keep the back bend, chin and chest lifted, kick, 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 change, come on up, Okie doke, last one, left hand up, out to the left, reach back, pick up the inside of your left foot, right arm up, maybe arm behind the ear flap, knees together, working on more shoulder motion, lift your right kneecap, point your left toes, lift your chin, stretch up, and slowly kick, stretch, breathe, standing bow, pulling pose, a bow like an archery, right? Anger says body is the bow, posture is the arrow, but the target is the soul. This is a moving meditation for self-realization. Bring the body down more, leg up more, reach forward, kick and kick and kick. Change, come on up. Good for you. Come to the back of your mat. Tula Dandasana balancing stick, still breathing. Feet together, arms up, palms together, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, nice tight white knuckle grip. Lean back, stretch up, step your right foot forward, lock both legs, stretch, and when you're ready, come down. Arms, body, head, legs, everything parallel to the floor, so from the side, body makes a T like Tom, but not a broken umbrella. Body down more, leg up more, stretch, 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 change. Slowly left foot down, right foot back, lean back, stretch up, step your left foot forward, lock both legs, stretch, and tilt, eventually coming down parallel to the floor. Charge your body forward, try to touch the wall in front of you, shoulder blade scapula stretching away from the body. Squeeze your palms together, up to the wrist, stretch your big toe back. Change, slowly right foot down, left foot back, float your arms down, take a breath. Second set, arms up, palms together, switch the grip, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, core tight, spine long, lift up. Step your right foot forward, lock both legs, stretch and tilt. Remember that it's form before depth. If you're coming down all the way, but the knees and elbows are bending, the hips are opening, the wrists are bending, right? You wanna come up a little bit, wrist straight, arms with ears, back flat, two hips in line, lock your legs, lock your arms, stretch, 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 change, left foot down right foot back, lean back, stretch up, step your left foot forward, lock both legs, stretch up and tilt, drop your right hip down. Spiral your inner right thigh up, hips and armpits facing the floor, biceps with ears, look a little forward, neck long, body down, lift your right leg up, change, slowly right foot down, left foot back, arms down, enough of that. You can come to the top of your mat and face the long side of your mat. I will face you. Uh, we're gonna do two of everything since it's nobody's first rodeo. We won't flow, we'll just go a little faster. Inhale, arms up, stretching, Paschimottanasana. Exhale, step your right foot to the right, nice step. Arms down parallel to the floor, toes in, lock your legs, lift your chest and go down. Legs locked, back flat. Remember lots of options. You can have your hands on the floor. You can grab the outsides of your feet. You can grab your heels from behind. You are your greatest teacher. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes, lift your hips up. Push your knees back, lock your legs, pull, stretch, breathe, roll forward a little bit more, find your edge, inhale, lengthen, exhale, stretch down, touch your head to the floor in between your feet. Good, change, slowly come up, take your time, press the hips forward, lift from the lower ribs. Step your right foot back to the place, arms up, arms down. Second set stretching, you can adjust your step as you'd like to, inhale, arms up, 
Exhale, step your right foot to the right. Big step could be smaller or bigger than the first set. Toes in, heels out, chest up, go down. Chin away from the chest. If your knees are bending, start with your hands on the floor in front of you. Walk your hands forward until the legs lengthen. Lift your hips up, lift the kneecaps up, contract the quadricep muscles. First the leg stretching, then the hip stretching, lower spine, full spine, full body stretching. Three 60 degree angle stretching, coccyx to toes, coccyx to head, touch your head to the floor in between your feet. If your head's not yet touching the floor, take a little bit of a bigger step. And everybody roll forward, pull and stretch and breathe, touch your head down. Good, change, slowly come up, no rush. Step your right foot back, arms up, arms down. Triangle, trikonasana, inhale, arms up. Exhale, step your right foot to the right, nice big step. Arms down parallel to the floor. Press your hips forward, lean your upper body back, turn your right foot out, left toes in, bend your right knee and lunge, sit down low, lean back and move your arms at the same time. Tilt your upper body to a 45 degree angle so that from your ankle to the crown of your head is one long diagonal line. Now look up towards the ceiling, look for your left thumb, start to reach your left arm up and stretch your right arm down. Push your left hip forward and down, push your right knee back with the help of your elbow, now turn, twist upper body back like spine twisting posture, lock your left leg. Leg. Keep your whole left foot, even the pinky toe, flat on the floor. Change. Rotate your arms, straighten your right leg, right toes in, left toes out, two heels in line. Inhale, bend your left knee and lunge. Sit down low, never forcing the body, lean back and move your arms at the same time. If your left thigh is parallel to the floor, which mine is not, but if yours is, then elbow in front of the knee, hover your fingertips between your big and second toe, but don't touch the floor, don't push any weight on the floor. You're never collapsing all the way down, but you also don't wanna stay all the way lifted, right? You're using your left side obliques here. Look up, stretch up, reach your right arm up, stretch your left arm down, bend your left knee to sit a little bit lower, and then roll the right rib cage back, open your chest, lock your right leg, keep your right foot flat on the floor. Change, rotate your arms, straighten your left leg, left toes in, right foot back, arms up, arms down. Second set triangle, inhale, arms up, exhale. Step your right foot to the right, stay with your breath, stay in your body, press your hips forward, lean back, turn your right foot out, bend your right knee, lunge, it's a moving meditation, press your hips forward, lean back, and move your arms at the same time, elbow in front of the knee, hover your fingertips between your big and second toe, don't touch the floor, don't push any weight on the floor, look up and stretch up, maybe do something a little bit different in the second set, like try to sit a little bit lower, or really engage your core to stay lifted, reach your left arm up, stretch your right arm down, roll the left rib cage back, Open your chest like a flower petal blooming. Lock your left leg, keep your left foot flat on the floor. Change, rotate your arms, straighten your right leg, right toes in, left toes out, two heels in line. Inhale, bend your left knee, lunge, sit down, lean back, and move your arms at the same time. If you feel like your feet are coming apart, imagine you're going to squeeze your heels together. Feet stay in place, but this is the inner thigh strength we want to engage. So heels are squeezing together and fingers are actively pushing apart, right? Feel your chest open up, push your right hip forward and down, push your left knee back with the help of your elbow, look up, stretch up, turn and twist, lock your right leg, keep your right foot flat on the floor, change, move your arms, press the left heel into the floor to come up, left toes in, right foot back to the place, arms up, arms down, take a breath. Standing separate leg, head to knee, Dandayamana Bikapta Pada Jani Shrasana. Inhale, arms up, palms together, only cross your thumbs. Exhale, step your right foot to the right, three to four feet. Shift your weight to your heels, pick up your toes, pivot on your heels. Turn your back toes in. Press your left hip forward, 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 two hips in line. Stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, and you go down. Chin to chest, stomach in, round your spine. Touch your forehead and knee together. You are welcome to bend your front leg to bring your knee and head closer together. You might also try taking a bigger, smaller step or turning your back toes in or really pushing the floor away from you. Eventually forehead and knee touch, but you are not forcing your body. So for example, for me right now, it's a little bit too, uh, too intense on the back for me to touch my forehead to my knee. So I'm gonna focus more on squeezing into the abdominal wall, right? Whether or not forehead or knee touching, focus on the compression aspect of the posture, engage your core, draw your belly button in towards your spine. Push your forehead into your knee, lift your kneecaps, lock your legs, hands together, change, slowly uncurl, chin to chest, head up last. 
When you're ready, pivot on your heels to the other side of the room or the front of your mat. Make sure heels are in line, but not crisscross. Turn your back toes in, squeeze your right butt cheek, push your right hip forward, feel inner thighs squeeze together. Stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, and you go down. Round, scoop, curl, tuck, concave, chin to chest, stomach in. You can bend your front leg if you need to, touch your forehead and knee together. Front side compression, throat choked, jaw relaxed, eyes open, stomach in, breathe in normal. Stretch your fingertips just beyond your big and second toe. Bring maximum weight to your front foot. Left hip up, right hip forward, two hips in line. Push your forehead into your knee. Lift your kneecaps, walk your hands back together if they separated, change. Keep your biceps and your ears, press your right hip forward, chin to chest, head up last. Pivot on your heels, right foot back, arms down. Second set, head to knee, Johnny Sharasana. Arms up, palms together, only cross your thumbs, other thumb on top if you remember. Press palms together and use your biceps. Step your right foot to the right, three to four feet. Pick up your toes, pivot on your heels. Turn your back toes in, press your left hip forward, right rib cage back, stretch up, chin to chest, go down, arms with the ears, one day arms behind the ears, chin to chest, keep the jaw relaxed, stomach in, maybe bring your forehead and knee a little bit closer together the second go around, or work on your balance, right? If your hands have separated, start to walk them back together, maybe thumbs cross, maybe palms together, maybe not. Every day is a little bit different. And this is a, a good state of mind to be in, right? That every class is different. Every posture is different. This is a nice reminder just how alive we are. Push your forehead into your knee, lock your legs, hands together, change. Imagine you're dragging your forehead up your thigh, your chest, arms with ears, head up last. Pivot on your heels. I'm going to face you for the last one. Heels are in line, but not crisscross, right? That'll make it hard to balance. Press your palms together. Feel your pinky fingers touch. Stretch up, chin to chest, go down. So the, uh, the knife edge of your palms are together, right? Tuck your chin to your chest, pull your abdomen in, touch your forehead to your knee. Left hip up a little bit, right hip forward a little bit. As you exhale, pull the abdomen in even more, giving the internal organs a nice little massage. It's compression posture, squeezing, compressing, toning the front of the body. Push forehead into knee, lock both legs, hands together, change, go slow, arms with ears, chin to chest, head up last. Pivot on your heels, right foot back, arms down. Come to the middle of your mat, head to, uh, pardon me, not head to knee, um, <laughs> tree pose to toe stand. Shift your right to your left leg, Tadasana, lock your left leg, lift your right leg up, heel to costume, let your right knee drop. You can bring one or both hands together. Option to stay here, or float a pot and gustasana, toe stand, look towards the floor, fold forward, hands to floor. Lean forward, lift your left heel, bend your knee, sit down on your heel. Walk your hands back to either sides of your hips. Whether you're in tree or toe, grow taller. Left hand up to the center of your chest, right hand, spine straight, come a half inch off your heel. When you're ready, hands to floor. You can come up on two feet or push your hands into the floor, lift your hips up to straighten your standing leg, and then press your hips forward to reverse out. Change, right leg down, shift your weight to your right leg, walk right leg, lift left leg up, let your left knee drop. This side might feel different, that's okay. You can bring one or both hands together. Option to stay here or fold forward. I'm gonna stay here with my hands on the floor, but you can keep going. Walk your hands forward, lean forward, lift your heel, bend your knee, sit down on your heel. Walk your hands back to either sides of your hips, whether you're in tree or toe, roll the shoulders back and down, lengthen the spine, point your left toes. Left hand up, right hand up, press your palms together, stretch your spine up, toe stand, come a half and chop your heel. When you're ready, hands to floor. You can come up on two feet or lift your hips up to straighten your standing leg and then press your hips forward to reverse out just as you went in. Nice, change left leg down, honor yourself, give yourself high five, fist bump, turn around, Savasana. We are on the floor for the rest of class. Head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. Bring your heels together. Let your toes fall open, arms down by your sides, palms face the ceiling, 
Eyes open, mouth closed, breathing normal. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your nose. It's funny, sometimes in that last posture in toe stand, if I have a day where I'm actually balancing and I observe that I'm balancing, my mind then goes, holy crap, you're balancing in this posture. And then I become very aware of what's happening. And then I usually fall out of the posture. Um, there's something to be said about when we are in it, when we are in that present moment, when you are actively balancing in a posture or doing the thing that is hard for you to stay in that moment and to keep your mind calm. And then we can stay a little bit longer, but there's practice there too. At first, we're just falling out. Then there's that day where we hold, where we stay in the posture that we've never stayed in before. Right. Then there's that moment of observing, oh my God, I'm doing the thing I never thought I could do. Then we fall out. But then slowly over time, right, it's not that we lose the wonderment of the human body, but it's that we learn how to stay calm even in those moments of like wonder or awe or surprise. Pavana Muktasana when you're moving pose. Bend your right leg up, interlock your 10 fingers, grab your right shin, pull your knee out and down. So we're not taking the human body for granted. We're not taking, you know, our yoga journey for granted, but we're learning how to like observe calmly without reacting. Pull down, change, right? Leg down, bend your left leg up, pull your knee out and down. Push the pads of your fingers into the backs of your hands to strengthen your grip. Pull down and breathe. Change, left leg down. Both legs up, grab your elbows each other, give yourself a big hug for coming to class today. Squeeze your knees together and down. Keep your head on the floor. Look down the center line of your body, hold and breathe. Change, arms down, eyes open. Second set, bend your right leg up, interlock your 10 fingers, other thumb. Pinky finger on top, pull your knee out to the right, down towards your shoulder. Look down the center line of your body, squeeze tight, breathe slow. Change, right leg down, left leg up, pull your knee out and down, purposely putting pressure on your lower abdomen. This posture is good for digestion, good for grip strength. Change, left leg down, both legs up. Good for giving yourself a hug. A fun fact about the human body, um, your body releases like serotonin, like happy chemicals when you get a hug, and your body does not know the difference between you hugging yourself and someone else hugging yourself. So in yoga and outside of yoga, if you're ever feeling a little sad, just give yourself a nice hug, right? And it starts to release the happy chemicals in the body. Change, arms down, eyes open. What would... Carolyn, call them happy particles. Uh, next, we do a straight leg sit up. If you have any concerns, skip the sit up, roll off to the side, meet us on your abdomen. Otherwise, legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up, elbows to floor, forehead to knees. <laughs> Good, turn, lie on your abdomen for the spine strengthening series, starting with Cobra, Bhujangasana. Place your hands flat on the floor below your shoulders so your elbows point up. Zip up your legs like a cobra's tail, toes and heels touch. Lock your legs, squeeze your backs, look up and lift. Stretch your upper body off the floor. Use 100% back strength. Come up halfway only, beautiful. Keep your elbows bent so you're not relying on your hands. If you picked your hands off the floor for a second, you would stay where you are. Now you do wanna press your hands into the floor a little bit to start to wake up the back muscles, right? But you're not relying on arm strength. Lock your legs, squeeze your butt, push your feet, hips and hands into the floor, look up. Chin up, chest up, stretch up, breathe up, change, slowly lower down. Look to your right, left ear on your mat, arms down, palms face the ceiling, toes together, heels fall open. Inhale, feel the backs of your ribs expand. Exhale, allow your ribs to gently contract. Second set, chin forward, hands on the floor below your shoulders, elbows point up, zip up your legs, lock your legs, look up and Lift, stretch your upper body off the floor, roll the shoulders back and down, elbows stay bent, feet stay together like a cobra's tail, lock your legs, squeeze your butt, push the tops of your feet, hips and hands flat into the floor, fingers point forward, toes point back, squeeze shoulder blades together, open through your chest, look up, come up a little higher at the end. Change, slowly lower down. Look to your left, right here on your mat, arms down, heels open. Locust, Shalabhasana, chin forward, arms straight, rotate your arms, palms face the floor. 
Option to keep your arms out to the side or bring your arms underneath you when they pinky fingers touch. Lock your right leg, point your right toes and lift your right leg up to a 45 degree angle. Half of 90 foot comes over the top of your head, lengthen and lift. Change, right leg down, relax right leg. Lock your left leg, point your left toes and lift your left leg up. Sole of foot flat to the ceiling. Left leg should be solid concrete, one piece lamp post, unbroken, you have no knee, change. Left leg down. Tuck your chin and mouth down, arms a little closer, spread your fingers wider. Zip up your legs, lock your legs, point your toes, roll forward and lift both legs up, come up. Everybody come up, you can do it. Strike a little harder, don't give up, go for it. Mouth down, shoulders down, lock your legs, squeeze your butt, put your thighs off the floor, shoulders down, legs up change, lower down with control, take your arms out, look to the right, and take an intentionally slow breath. Picture highly oxygenated blood flowing through your shoulders, elbows, wrists, all the way into the fingertips and back into the heart. Second set, chin forward, arms straight, rotate your arms, palms face the floor, Bring your arms underneath you, lock your right leg, point your right toes, lift your right leg up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, lift up, 4, 3, lift up, 2, 1, change, right leg down, lock left leg, point left toes, lift your left leg up, 10, 9, 8, shoulders down, 7, 6, 5, lift up, 4, 3, 2, one, change, left leg down, chin in, mouth down, arms a little closer, fingers a little wider, working on fingertip flexibility, mouth down, triceps tight, roll forward and lift both legs up, get your thighs up off the floor. In the second set, if you'd like, you can separate your legs for a second, see if you can lift up higher, then bring these feet back together, soles of the feet flat to the ceiling, roll forward, lift up, change, lower down, take your arms out, good for you, look to the left and let that one go. Furnish all the bottom of the locust, chin forward, arms out to the side like airplane wings, zip up your legs, toes, heels, touch, lock your legs, squeeze your butt, point your toes, look up and lift, arms, body, head, legs, everything lifts, I don't know what that is, everything lifts off the floor like a jumbo jet taking off just your hip bones on the floor, the rest of your body's in the air, look up to the ceiling where eyes go, body nose to follow, keep your knees, feet together, lock your legs, squeeze your butt, point your toes, thighs up, chin up, chest up, look up, arms up, arms back, come up a little higher at the end. Good change, slower down with control, tuck in your wings, hook to your right, left ear on your mat. Second set, chin forward, arms out, knees, feet together. Lock your legs, squeeze your buttons, point your toes, look up and lift. Everything lifts off the floor. This posture is so good for your posture, right? It will help you to stand taller outside of yoga. You are lifting your thighs and chest off the floor to strengthen all of the muscles that surround your spine. Keep your neck long so you're not dropping your head down. You also don't need to jam it all the way back. Try to get one more rib off the floor, thighs off the floor, look up, come up a little higher at the end. Good change, lower down, tuck in your wings, look to your left and let that one go. Donner Asana floor bow, chin forward, bend your legs, grab your feet from the outside, two inches below the toes, thumbs with your index fingers, bring your knees, feet close together. Point your toes, squeeze your butt, look up towards the ceiling and start to kick into your hands. Lovely, continuously keep kicking, so nice. Without stopping, without intermission, roll forward once. Freeze between your ribs and hips, hold still. Do little sips of air in and out through the nose. Point your toes, kick from your glutes, your hamstrings, your calves. Look up towards the ceiling, keep your neck long. Kick, kick, kick. Change, lower down. Look to your right, eyes open, maybe whole left ear on your mat. Do a soft, fuzzy gaze just beyond the tip of your nose or at the edge of your mat. Second set, chin forward, 
bend your legs, grab your feet from the outside, knees, feet close together, point your toes, squeeze your tush, look up and kick into your hands. You're kicking back and you're kicking up. Your arms and your legs are two wheels in one base. Try to keep your wrists straight, feet about hip width distance, squeeze your glutes, start to kick up more than you kick back at the end. Keep your neck long, look up to the ceiling, kick, 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 kick. Change, lower down, good for you. Look to your left and let that one go. Bring your chin forward, put your hands on the floor, push up, come to the top of your mat. I'll show you from the side, fix firm, open knees and feet, point toes back, sink your hips down. You can keep your hands in front of you, beside you or behind you the whole time. If you can sit between your heels, put your hands on your feet, right elbow down, left elbow down, drop your head back, head to the floor, tuck your chin in, neck, shoulders on the floor, arms over your head, grab your elbows each other, look down the center line of your body. You want a gentle stretch, never a point of pain. Um, a little bit goes a long way in every posture, but especially in postures that deal with the joints, right? A little bit goes a long way. Change, put your hands on your feet, press yourself up, head up last, very nice, turn around, Savasana. You know, a lot of times in yoga, we say like, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey, which always, I don't know, I always roll my eyes that it's about the journey, not the destination, but a helpful <laughs> reframe, just a single change in word was, it's not about the destination, it's about the process. And something about the word process versus journey um, just feels like a little bit less like cringy to me. So if that helps you, like it helps me, right? Yoga is truly about the process rather than about the outcome. It's not about what the posture looks like. It's about what's happening when we're going through it. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up, elbows to floor, forehead to knees. <laughs> Good, turn, come to the top of your mat, second set, knees, feet together, hips on your heels. Open your feet, sit down between your heels. Knees can open as well, but eventually knees stay together. Put your palms on your soles. Right elbow, left elbow, head back, head to floor. Tuck your chin in, neck, shoulders on the floor, arms overhead, other elbow on top. Look down the center line of your body, breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Change, put your hands on your feet, press yourself up. Very nice, turn around, Savasana. Head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. Remember that you're always welcome to skip sit-ups and you can always you know, skip the first few and then hop in at a certain point if that feels good too. Legs together, arms over your head, chin to chest, sit up <laughs> or roll off to the side. Come to the back of your mat, half tortoise, Ardha Karmasana, knees, feet together, hips on your heels. Arms up, palms together, cross your thumbs, chin away from your chest, lengthen and fold. Hinge at your hips, forehead to floor, little fingers to floor, tilt your pinky fingers down, try to get elbows and wrists off the floor, slide your pinky fingers forward, sink your hips back in the opposite direction, stretch, stretch, stretch. Change, a little scoop in the chest as you come up. Good, arms down, turn around, Savasana. Legs together, arms over your head, chin to chest, sit up. <laughs> Good, turn, come to the back of your mat, second side, half tortoise, knees, feet together, hips on your heels, arms up, palms together, other thumb on top, stretch up and fold. You can always put your hands on the floor and walk yourself in. Otherwise, forehead to floor, little fingers to floor. If your forehead doesn't touch the floor, in the second set, try lifting your hips up a little higher to tilt the head down so you get a nice rush of blood towards the head. Reach your arms forward, sink your hips down, re-energize, reorganize, revitalize, stretch. Change, come on up, stomach in. Nice, arms down, turn around, Savasana. Letting everything stretch out to the floor. The faster you hop into Savasana, the longer you have to enjoy it. Legs together, arms over your head, chin to chest, sit up. <laughs> Great, turn, come to the top of your mat. Camel Ustrasana, our deepest back bend. Stand on your knees, six inches between knees and feet. Place your hands on your lower back. Press your hips forward. 
Lift your chin and chest, look up, and if it feels good, look back. Option to stay here or go back halfway, freeze in the middle. Option to stay here or right hand down, grab your right heel. Left hand down, grab your left heel, thumbs outside, fingers inside. Full palm grip on your heels. If you can't grab your heels, keep your hands on your back. Press your hips forward, lift your chest up, relax your head back, breathe. When you're ready, place your hands on your back first. Press yourself up without twisting your spine. Have a last stretch up, sit down, turn around, savasana. Letting everything stretch out. All you have to do is breathe. Second set, legs together, arms over your head, chin to chest, sit up. If you're doing the sit up, enjoy the stretch, elbows to floor, forehead to knees. Great, turn, come to the top of your mat, second set, camel. You can open your knees a little wider, eight to 10 inches between your knees, six inches between your feet. You can always roll up your mats. There's extra padding under your knees. Place your hands on your lower back, elbows closer together, hips forward, chest up, head back. Go back halfway, check in, assess. Option to stay here or left hand down, grab your left heel, right hand down, grab your right heel. Press your hips forward, lift your chest up, drop your head back. When you're ready, place your hands on your back, press yourself up, stretch up, sit down, turn around, savasana. Let that posture go, let it wash over you, let it move through you, let it be done. Legs together, arms over your head, chin to chest, sit up. <laughs> Good turn, come to the middle of your mat, grab it, sauce and gasa. Knees, feet together, hips on your heels. Grab your heels from the outside, thumbs outside, fingers inside, full palm grip on your heels, stretch up, chin to chest, go down. If you, like me, have a long torso or short arms, you might not be able to grab your heels at the top. Once forehead to knees, top of head to floor, now reach back, pull on your heels, don't lose the grip, lift your hips up. If there's a gap between your knees and head, you can walk your knees up one by one, but head stays in place. You can also keep your hips down on your heels the whole time if lifting your hips up is too much of a stretch for your back. Lock your arms, lift your shoulders, squeeze your heels together, round your spine. Good, bring your hips back down to your heels, change slowly and curl, take your time, head up last. Very nice, turn around, savasana, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat, letting everything stretch out. Legs together, arms over your head, flex your feet, squeeze your seat, sit up, elbows to floor, forehead to knees. <laughs> Good, turn, come to the middle of your mat, second set, rabbit, let's hop to it. Knees, feet together, hips on your heels, grab your heels from the outside, thumbs outside, fingers inside, big stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, go down. Forehead to knees, top of head to floor, pull on your heels, don't lose the grip, lift your hips up. If there's a gap between your knees and head, you can walk your knees up one by one, but head stays in place. Squeeze your heels together, roll forward, one day hips over knees, lock your arms, lift your shoulders, tuck your stomach in, round your back. Bring your hips down and change. Pull yourself out, take your time, head up last. Turn around, Savasana. Let that one go, let it be done. Be here in this breath. Inhale, body rise. Exhale, body fall. Legs together, arms over your head, chin to chest, sit up. Okay, turn, come to the middle of your mat. One set of head to knee, stretching and spine twist. Right leg out, left leg in, two legs make an L, as in legs. Inhale your arms over your head, big stretch up. Exhale, turn to your right, tuck your chin to your chest, put your forehead on your knee. Interlock your chin fingers up to the webbing under the ball of your foot, flex your toes back, bend your elbows down, suck your stomach in. Left elbow down, left shoulder down, roll into the left, 
change arms up left leg out right leg in big stretch up turn to your left pooch into chest touch your forehead to your knee if it's easy to touch your forehead and knee together with a bent leg you can slowly slide your heel forward one day leg straight one day leg lock flex the toes back bend the elbows down pull the abdomen in right hip down right shoulder down roll into the right change arms up both legs out in front of you if you're skipping sit up stay here otherwise lay down let your spine realign and sit up <sighs> exhale grab your big toes elbows to floor forehead to knees good um bend your knees hook onto your big toes with middle and index fingers thumbs on top scoot your butt back for one set of paschimottanasana stretching rather than rounding the spine arch the spine knees can stay bent if it helps you keep a flat back your legs are straight stick your butt out lock your legs puff up your chest fold coming down with a flat back flex the toes back spiral inner thighs down flex pinky toes back shoulders back chest forward elbows down stomach to thighs, chest to knees, one day forehead to pose. Change, stay seated, spine twist. You can keep your left leg straight and cross your right foot over your left knee, or you can bend your left knee on the floor and touch right heel to left knee corner. Right arm close behind you like a kickstand, second spine, left arm up and over, grab your left knee with your left hand. You can also grab your mat. Inhale, stretch up, stomach in. Exhale, look over right shoulder twist. Point your left toes. Keep your right hand close behind you like a second spine. And if you can balance here, try taking it off the floor. You can grab your hip, your waistband, or even your left thigh with your right hand for a half bind. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look back, twist, twist, twist. Change, unwind, swap out your legs. Bend your right leg on the floor. Touch left heel to right knee. Left arm behind you, right arm up. Draw a circle, push the knee out of the way. Try to grab a right knee with right hand. Drop the shoulders, lift the chest, eyes open. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, look back, twist. You can keep your left hand behind you or reach behind you. Catch your right thigh with your left hand. Right knee down, left foot down, point your right toes. Feel each and every vertebrae twisting like beads in a necklace. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look back, twist and twist and twist. Change, unwind, turn around, Savasana. We begin this sequence with a pranayama breathing exercise, exhaling through the mouth, and we end with kapalabhati breathing, exhaling through the mouth, good for lungs, digestion, abdominal wall, but first one final sit up, legs together, arms over your head, chin to chest, sit up, <laughs> sort of like the exhale breath in the sit up, rapidly exhale through your mouth as you pull your abdomen in, the inhale happens automatic. Start in a comfortable seated position, maybe knees, feet together, hips on your heels, hands on thighs, maybe crisscross applesauce. Like your lips, swallow a couple times, concentrate, meditate. Don't forget to have fun. Here we go. Three, two, one, sit up tall. Second set, harder, better, faster, stronger. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, good for you. Honor yourself. Give yourself a hug, high five, pat on the back, turn around, savasana, close your eyes, open your arms and legs, take up as much or as little space as you'd like, and take a deep life-giving breath. Inhale through your nose, feel your body fill up. Exhale through your nose, feel your body empty out. The same way that our bodies are forever expanding and contracting, right? Our consciousness, our minds, our hearts, they're constantly in motion. And when we give ourselves some time just to be still and breathe, helps to kind of sort everything out a little bit. And you've done that today. So good for you for coming to class. This is a gift that you have given yourself and nobody can take that away from you. You can inhale through the nose, let it go, exhale through the nose, and all is coming 